um, I have tried to solve the assignment one for the course an introduction to coding theory which is running at present it's a eight week course and uh, these are the critical dates so this is the due date of the first assignment and uh, these are my solutions so answer one is option C because pairing into three bits because three repetitions are being done for each code bit you will get majority rule to say that 0 1 0 has two zeros so it must have been a zero and so on so this is the answer then a parity check matrix is given of way for a linear block code and uh, the answer is this because uh, usually the dimension is n cross m m is the number of parity check equations which are shown three here but when you add them up the rank is not three so rank is less than three and if you add any two columns all permutations are written here if you add them you get not equal to zero so rank of this is two so six minus two is four and four is the amount of messages answer option c for question two is answer question three answer is option b uh, the reason being that uh, when you add two code words it should also result in a code word uh, if you add a same code word to itself it should give a zero but that is not the case here there is no all zero code word so this does not work out this add these two you get this one but this code word is not present in this set 110 is not there similarly in this set if we add 010 and 001 this gives a 0101 which is again not present in this set so linearity is violated in this if we check <coughs> sums of all possible combinations all of the sums result into a code word that falls inside the set given set so this one is correct second option is correct for question 3 for question 4 option 2 is correct because we need the rank and rank has to be n minus k which is 4 it can be less than 4 but maximum rank is 4 so that parity is strong get to op uh, question 5 option 4 is right answer uh, because they are asking what is the minimum distance to find the minimum distance you can generate all possible code words and find the minimum weight but that will be tedious so use the shortcut method uh, this explanation I am not giving why Nettle lectures give the explanation uh, to how to answer this but simply the method is that you uh, sum up the minimum number of columns of h to zero if that happens then those are the weights or those are the that is the minimum distance so that is four question six ask us to find the generator matrix v and u relation is given so this is the correct option option third the last generator matrix option is the answer you can simply find by finding the construct of the generator matrix using the given equations uh, and then you can just transpose and find h also so question 7 as answer last option with the h of h is the answer which is option 3 similarly in question 6 question number 6 answer is option c again and in question 8 syndrome is to be found you just multiply these two out you will get option a as answer or question 8 as option a as answer question 9 has option a as answer uh, because the hemming distance between these two code words is the number of bits in which they differ and in question 10 you have to find uh, what is the probability of receiving a sequence 1 0 to receive a sequence 1 0 you will find the probability of 1 and 0 and the probability of 1 and 0 according to the diagram receiving a 0 is this into this and this into this which is written like this 
so this this equation solves to this so the answer is for question 10 the answer is option c which is 0 0.1924